Okay, John, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's start by talking about the win at Morton on Saturday there. It was a terrific performance and it was a really well-deserved three points, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, obviously if you were there you would know that um, it was a full-deserved win for ourselves and it's something that we knew it was coming um, from previous weeks as well. We let ourselves down at air at home as well, wanted the three points. So going to Morton in their eyes, there was only one thing we were going to do and we all set our stalls out well and the manager set us up perfectly and all the boys performed well on the day. So. And really if we're going to a place like Greenock and, and winning and coming away with all three points, given their record there this season, that was their first defeat there at home all season, we really shouldn't be going, to, going into any game with any fear. Is that the mentality you have anyway? Yeah, even prior to that game, um, we've written every game feeling confident. Since I've been here, I can only talk on the games that I've been here and I don't think there's any game really where we've been outclassed. I think there's one or two games where we've not performed well, the likes of Falkirk and stuff, and we've let ourselves down individually in that match and as a team. But um, apart from that, as I say, I don't think there's any other really games where we can put our finger on and say, oh, we feel we deserve to get beat here or didn't win there or whatever. So we're performing well as individuals and excellent as a team and we've got a, a great team spirit going in as well. And as you said, going to Morton and the record that they had there after that match, when, as you said before, um, we're going to any match f uh, feeling confident as well. So. And your partner in the midfield, Big Nat, managing to get on the score sheet as well. It was a, <laughs> it was a better than a goal, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's one that he needed as well. <laughs> it's... Um, no, as you said, um, we've, we've, um, we knew each other prior to me coming here and um, we had a good friendship before and it's, it's got stronger as well and I've, we've got a great chemistry together as well. He, he's kind of the bully one, he's the bigger boy and I like to get on the ball more and go forward and try and make things happen but um, I think if you look at the games, I think we kind of look after each other. I've got strengths that he uses, he's got a lot of strengths that I use as well so I think we accommodate each other well and um, so far it's going well. And, but then, yeah, it was funny. It was, a good, it was a good finish for him. It was a good one. Big game this Saturday here at East, uh, East End Park against Hibs. They're obviously going for the title. Ten points clear at the top. Last time we played them, though, uh, we were disappointed to not come away with all three points at East End. Yeah, obviously, go playing against any big team, you know it's going to be a tough game. So, um, But first and foremost, we've got to look at ourselves as well. Look at ourselves first and then look at the opposition. And as you said there, we've got, we had a lot of positives we can take from the game at, at their place but at the same point we went down was it one 0 two 0 we went down so um went down two 0 sorry so um we know there's a lot of things we can improve on but as you said the confidence coming from um, the win at Morton we can take in this game is, is is good yeah and these are the sort of games that every footballer wants to play in Hibs will bring a big crowd with like home support as well a sort of you know full stadium but these are the games you want to play in, isn't it? Yeah, as you said, um, two big clubs going against each other. We are respectively Hibs have came down and Dunfermline's came up, but it's two two massive clubs. Um, considering where we are, both are in the same league, both probably feel as if they should be in the higher league, and um, quite rightly so. But as you said, these are the big games you want to play in, us as individuals and as a team, and then the fans obviously coming in. This is this is what a lot of fans work during the week for, so they can come and. And then um, come and support their team, and they have, they have their saying people don't like it, but that, that that's that's up to them. They pay their money, they can come and say and do what they want. So um, yeah, as you said, it's a big game for us and a big game for the fans. So we hopefully go out there and get good performance. And finally, you, from a personal perspective, John, it's what seven seven eight games to go till the end of the season now. Have you had any thoughts about what you're going to do after your, your loan finishes? Would you like to stay here at East End, or are you going to assess things in the summer? As I said, the first four, the first thing just now is um, obviously Dunfermline. I'm not focusing on myself. I think if the people that know me well enough here, the people that I've been about since I've came here, I've never put myself first over anything. I've always put the team first. Um, I've had a lot of contact from. There's been a lot of clubs uh, contacting me, but um, right now, as you said, I'm I'm just um, staying focused and trying to finish off the season well and getting our six, seven games under my belt till then because we've got a, we've got a great squad and if you don't play well one or two games then you can easily be replaced but yeah, everyone knows I've, I've made it um, clear since I've been here I'm happy here, I'm happy with the manager and the staff and all of the players, I've got a great friendship with a lot of them we've got a good wee car school going on as well so um, no, it's good as I said before, I'm enjoying it here but you never know what the future holds and sometimes you just, I don't know so hopefully wait and see.